What's up guys? We are we are on part five. Alrighty, part five. I think it's part five of the bare finger painting. I think today we're gonna see some real change. I mean, not that it hasn't changed as time has gone on, but I think we're gonna change quite a bit more. Um, let me know. Okay, there we go. There we go, there we go. Okay, let me know how things are going uh, with the, uh, with the, whatchamacallit, the, uh, if it buffers or, or not. Am I cold? Says, ask Shirley. No, it's warm today. Oh, because I'm wearing this? I just wear, this because it's a habit, I guess. I could take it off, I suppose. But then, uh, then I, I just won't. I won't be comfortable. I don't know why, but I just like something on my head. Nah, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. We gotta put it back on. Uh, it's actually warm. It's warm in the shop, and it's warm outside. Uh, I had the heat off for a couple days while I was doing some welding, and I forgot to turn it back on. And so I was like, oh, it's gonna take forever to heat the shop back up. But it actually didn't take long at all. So that's good. Put it back on. <laughs> okay, someone, someone, get this person out of here. Just kidding. Uh, who else is here? Let's see here. Jackie, uh, Omizu, uh, Cindy, Shirley, Justine, Amy, Tia, Irene, Shirley, Scott, Scott Cat. Is that Scottish Cat? Because there's that Vegas Cat too. Wise, the wooden shoe bandit, Sarah, and uh, what is that? Sitch blend, sitch blend, Karen, see you soon, Karen, Becky, Char, Renee. Oh, a different Renee. We got we got a second Renee, Renee Coleman, like the camper. Oh, I should put it, or not the camper, the what do you call it? The uh, like the ice box. Cooler. I should put a Coleman cooler right here, right? And then have like the porridge in there. Yeah, Coleman or Gary Coleman somewhere in the. Some people keep saying that they see faces in the background here. I'm gonna put Gary Coleman's face back here. Actually, you know what? Why not Renee Coleman? It, it loses meaning. Oh, the other Renee right underneath. We got two Renees, one on top of each other. That sounds weird. Ignore that last comment. Terry. Hello, Terry. Uh, what is warm to you? I'm chilly here in Scotland, but it's warmer than it is warmer than it is here. And it, but it's warmer than it is here. What? I don't know what that even means. Uh, we have, uh, I think, you know what? I don't know. Oh, damn it. Oh, hold on. I do have it here. Let me go grab it. I thought I forgot my other phone. I do not have to worry, though. I ran out of gas yesterday on the welder, but fortunately I had two more cylinders of it. Thank you to someone who watched my YouTube channel. Okay, what was the question? Oh yeah, what's the temperature? Let's see. Let us see. The temperature today is, if this will load, the internet's not doing well today. Ah. Yeah, this probably isn't going to work. So actually, it kind of makes no point. No sense in having this. Clint was here for like five minutes, and then he left. He might have been like, smells like welding in here. I'm leaving. Dang it, I can't check the temperature. Hopefully, I remember to do it later when the internet might be back up. So let me know if this gets all fuzzy. Ice cream, ice cream, posted condiment flavors. Oh, is that right? Like, what does that mean? Oh, condiment flavors of ice cream? Oh, that's weird. Probably warmer here than it is there. I don't think so. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice right now. I think it's supposed to be 20 or 12 Celsius. 
sorry, 10. Okay, it's 10 or 12 Celsius. All right, Irene is local to me, so she would she would be able to tell us quite accurately. So yeah, we're a little bit warmer than you. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. That's a bummer, but don't worry, I got some uh, I got some uh, reference photos. Okay, so I might do some changes with the bear. I definitely am with the, oh, her laser beams came off. Or wait, I took them off. The eyes, obviously I gotta do something with those. I just have them yellow for no reason, really. I just think it's funny. So we'll change the eyeballs. This eyeball we already changed. Uh, we might do some work with the fur, or, or not. I don't know. This bear I actually really like, so I think we're good there. But now we gotta work on this area here. Maybe a little bit in this tree branch. I might even, yeah, I don't know exactly what I'll do. We'll see. We'll see what gets covered up by the tall grass. Now, I'm kind of contemplating what colors to use, right? Should we use like a tan color? Should we use green? Should we use a mix? We already have tons of green in this picture, right? It could even use a little more variation in there. You know what? Maybe that's what we'll start with. We'll start it with um, some more of this light, like lime green color. And we'll put a little bit more in the background here. As if there's lots more lighting up going on. And actually, you know what I'll do? Well, I'll add a little bit more around. We're going to make another color of green as well. So there's a few, there's a few green. Oh yeah, I can't forget the golden finch. Okay, we'll put a little bit more in there. So there's like one, two, three, four. four or five different greens in here. And I don't know how well it shows up on the camera, but up close, or not even up close, but in real life, I, I like I like seeing the different, because it looks like depth. It almost looks, I mean, it doesn't look like this, but it almost looks like you can like find your way through it. Not quite, but you know what I mean. I'm glad we put these sticks in there. I like the way that looks quite a bit. Okay, now that I have that, let me get a couple more little bits here. Okay, let me change the color of green. I'm gonna add some, I'm gonna add some yellow to this so it makes it even lighter. I don't want it to look like fall yellow. I just want it to look like, oh, there's a little more glistening of green. Now Bob Ross would use one of those brushes that looks like a fan. I don't got one of those on my hand. How's everybody doing, by the way, today? Happy Easter Monday. Hopefully you guys had good Easter dinners and whatever else you did. Um, by the way, don't take this as any sort of gospel. No pun intended with the Easter reference. Uh, I may have a hat person finally. So those of you who've been waiting for hats for like four years, I might have one now. 
I just met her two days ago. So we'll see. Okay, there we go. Have a look at that. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's a good start for the session here. I like that. I like the way that it's um, uh, popping, I guess would be the word, with that lighter color. Now, when it dries, it'll mute a little bit. So we'll see, we'll see how it looks when it dries, but I, I like that. Now, um, hmm, let's see here. I think, uh, yeah, this is like the risky part because like, yeah. I don't know. I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna go for it. Let me find some, some of the colors that I want. Unfortunately, the internet doesn't work here. So I don't got a, I don't got a reference photo looker upper. Cause it doesn't, it's, it doesn't have its own network or whatever. Okay, let me find. I thought I had a little bottle of buff. Okay, I have this yellow ochre. This cadmium green. That is definitely not what I want to use for the grass. So I might put a little couple, two, three sparkles in here.
Okay, there we go. Okay, so not this green. We won't worry about this. Got some brown. What's this? We got some yellow ochre here again. What's this? Okay, that's blue. We don't need blue. I don't think we need blue. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna pull up my reference photos because I might have taken some reference photos of the grass that I wanted to use. See, I might just do something like this, where it is green, but there's like a bunch of like light, light green in there. Cool blues colors in the back and warm red and oranges colors in the foreground. It really helps create depths as well. Maybe hints of golden orange grass. Yeah, we could do something like that. It's just time of year. Would it be golden already? I don't know if it would. Uh, shelf mushrooms on trees would be cool. Actually, kind of would be cool. I don't know if it would translate very well. So glad I have an original hat, says so Amy. Me too. Blue green will help with some depth. Hmm. Easter egg and arrowhead in one of the trees. You would never be able to discernibly make out what it was. It would be so tiny. I was walking yesterday uh, down the uh, to the neighbor's area there. Uh, well, down the road anyway, and I was walking down our driveway, and I saw the wind chime that I put on the arrow tree. I was like, oh yeah, I almost forgot about it for some reason. Okay, what's interesting, and I guess it's because of what, what the camera was focusing on, it seems brighter in the back, or in the middle ground, I don't know what you'd call that. Here, I can see those blues and such. Right, that's why I put little bits of purples in the trees and stuff. I don't know how well that comes out. I didn't put it into the uh, into this area, but you know what? It might be a good idea just to mist it with some blue. Shall we see if that's a mistake? Let's see if it's a mistake. Whoever said the blue thing? See, I don't know how to paint. I just know. I just. I just know what I'm trying to do. Okay, let's mist it up just a little bit.
Ah, there's glare from this window. Makes it hard to see this glare right here. Let me, uh, let me try to cover it up a little bit so I can get a better look from back here. But I'm, I'm liking the freaking blue in there. And if I don't, well, I can just cover it back up. Okay. Wow, that makes it a lot darker in here, but what the heck? I think that looks freaking awesome. Now, I just have to go back with the green, the light green and make those pop again. But It doesn't really translate in the camera like it does in, in real life. All right, let's take this down so I can see something. Okay, now I'll just touch it up with some green after. Well, it's probably already dry now. Let's do a little, I have this green. See, if I wasn't doing this live, I wouldn't have known about the bluish green thing. But since we are, here we go, you know? Must be warmer there already. First time I've seen you in the studio with a with a t-shirt for a while. Yeah, it has been a has been a minute, hasn't it? Green does look blue sometimes when in deep shade. Deep shade, yeah. Maybe add some Maybe mix some grayish green for depth. How's that different than the blue? Putting any moss on the tree? Well, you wouldn't really see the moss. Like maybe they don't look blurry enough. They look blurry in person, so. <clears throat> in one sense, you kind of can see some moss. But, wait, moss grows on what side of the tree? The north side of the tree? So, that way it would be north. That's east. You wouldn't even see the moss anyway.
to go with the foreground, I think. I'll probably keep adding and changing and doing whatever. We'll see. Okay. Okay, that's almost yellow. So I feel like, I feel like, I don't know. Can I get your guys' insight or opinion, insight? Let me see, hold on, I don't like that right there. It looks like some sort of constellation of leaves. Okay. I feel like I need to put some more in there. I don't know. I'm looking at it like here. It looks further away like that if I look in the camera. But if I look here, it looks fine. But here it looks like I could use a little more. A little more. But we'll see. I love that freaking blue back there. I don't know how well it translates for you guys, but it looks good. Grass. Burnt sienna leans towards the red-orange if you have some. I do have some. Mix with white and yellow to make a warm beige. Right, that's what I was doing with the with the bears, like his muzzle right here. I believe I made some, yeah. Wild blueberry shrubs in the meadows. Uh, well, the blueberries wouldn't, they wouldn't be around yet. It's too early. I'm trying to make this somewhat accurate to a timeline. These cubs are too small for blueberries, I think. I guess it depends on where you are, I'm, maybe. Uh, then you scatter some more brighter greens. Then you can scatter some more brighter greens. Yeah, that's probably right. P, P J, no, P Gale Stone, Stonge? Are you an artist? You must be an artist. Whoops. Blueberries, fruit, June to August. Yeah, it's too early. Or maybe it's not too early. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder, hmm. can you look up, well, we don't really have blueberries here, do we? Can you look up, I guess BC. This is not necessarily any place. Someone yesterday asked me to put in a lodgepole pine because of Alberta, but I don't know if it's Alberta. It's just a place of imagination, but also rooted in in reality somehow. I don't know how to, yeah. In taking courses online. Oh, that's cool. I mean, I, I don't know if that's cool, but that's, that's good for you if we're doing that. Uh, was it Emily Carr that commented on all the different shades of green in her paintings in the darkness of the West Coast forest? I have no idea who that is. Josh, is the TV show The Office your favorite show? No, I don't know if it's... Well, I wouldn't say it's my favorite show, but it is a favorite show. It's a great show. Hilarious. I love that show, but I don't know if it's my favorite. The Office and Friends... I can watch all the time. I tried to do the same thing with Seinfeld, but it's just not the same. Uh, Big Bang Theory is another good one. How I Met Your Mother. Tried to watch that. Not that great. Um, 
Oh, Modern Family. Hilarious. Um, what else is there? Yeah, I don't know. I like sitcoms, though. Depending on the variety, blueberry bushes are harvested in two to four picks between mid-August and mid-September. So, June is too early for here. Yeah, I'm trying to think. When would the grizzly bears be this size? <laughs> I know that's hard to reference. But, like, compared to the mother, like, look how big they are compared to her. Your greens are mostly pure hues. Ooh, I like the language here. Adding gray tones could add depth. Hey, let's, we could try it. Let's do it. MASH? I never watched MASH. Judy thinks they look like new babies. I wanted them to be like past the, uh, past the, the sludgy stage of spring, but not, not much past where everything gets green. Gray sludge for the hues. Okay, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do the uh, the uh, da, 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 foreground. I mean, if I'm looking at my reference, oh, here's a reference photo that I chose. Lots of grays in there. But there's lots of trunkage in there, and I didn't I didn't want lots of trunk lots of trunkage. But maybe I should add more trunkage. I don't know. Who am I? See, like this one. I like this one because there's there's lots of green, a few trunkage, <laughs> and then that maybe that's the gray muddiness that you're talking about. I see it. I see it. See, reading your guys' comments is helpful to me in, in, like, things that I might notice. Okay, so this, these are coniferous trees, but they're green. And then the, the foreground, it's all still uh, cover crop, if you will, from the previous year. Okay, this is one of our main reference photos. Lots of green, dark green in the background, lighter green in the foreground. And then we got this guy. Okay. It's got a mix of this yellowish green, like this wheat color. If you, I mean, wheat is green when it's growing, but when you picture wheat, do you not picture the yellowy wheat? And then this guy Green as green can be, although he looks soaking wet, so it's probably raining. In here, very blurry background, which I like. And then we have this uh, yellowish and green green. And then here, more green and yellowish green. So I might, I might just do yellows and greens. I'm not trying to be super, super accurate necessarily. I'm just trying to be like a better representation of like, say my, say my paintings that I do like this, where they're like, you know, he's got purple and greenish blues and stuff. And she's got a lot of purple in her face and in her hair. Like that's not accurate at all. Right. And that's on purpose. Right. I, I don't want to do that exactly, but I want to do all right, I don't want to do that at all, but I want to do some of that. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. No blueberries there? Is there not a blueberry school not too far from me? There is a blueberry school. Let me tell you a story about blueberry school. There was this guy. It's not a story about blueberry school, but that's where the bus transfer station was. There was this dude. How can I demonstrate this? Okay. Pretend this stool is high up in the air, okay? There's this guy sitting on the playground like this, right? Just like he's from uh, like a superhero movie or something. And he has a hood on over his face, like a cloak. 
And he's just sitting there, like, watching everyone. And I was like, dude, what the heck is this guy doing? Right? So he's... <laughs> he's, uh... He's just sitting there. Everyone's like, what the heck? It was me, my brother, some of our friends, and uh, my girlfriend at the time. We were like looking at him and we're like, what? I'm going to go ask him what he's doing. So I walk up to him and he's just like, like a Star Wars villain, but like from Skyrim or something. Okay. He's just all stoic. And if the lighting was good, probably would have looked really cool, but it was a regular sunny day, so it didn't look cool at all. It looked very dumb. Also, like, camera angles help a lot with those types of scenes in movies where they're, like, all close so they can look moody. If you see someone, like, in the big wide open and then someone's just crouched like a freak, <laughs> like a freaking old school assassin from, like, the dark ages. Anyways, I walk up to him. He's like this, whoa, he's like this. And I'm like, I'm like, hey, what are you, what are you doing? And he's like, and he's kind of like looking right past me, but like somehow making eye contact at the same time. And then I was like, okay, that's weird. And then he was like, don't talk to me, infidel. And I was like, what? And at the time, I didn't know what an infidel, I didn't know what that meant. And so, sometimes you'll hear me say that. I don't know if I've ever said it on video, but I've said that to like my brother, Dakota, or I've said it to Ashley. She has no idea what that's from, but I'll say that just as a joke. Don't talk to me, infidel. <laughs> this fucking guy. Strange dude. Uh... Probably one of those nerdy type kids, but I just did, I had no idea what he was doing up there, sitting like that, but he thought he was some kind of a ninja or something with no skills. Hilarious, but yes, we do have a blueberry school near us. We also have a blueberry hall near us. We also have a blueberry ball diamond, I think, somewhere. So, I, I don't know why it's called that at all. We mostly have Saskatoons here, so. Blueberry Mountain, north of Grand Prairie. Well, that's very far away from here. Not very far, but pretty far. New Girl with Zoe Deschanel. It's a funny sitcom. Oh, I love that show, too. I will never probably watch it again, but it was a good one. Uh, is it Labrador tea that has green leaves on top and orange on the underside? Do you have Labrador tea there? I don't think we do. Maybe we do. An incel calling someone an infidel. Oh, shots fired from the blacksmith. Oh, man. <laughs> he did give that vibe. Although, I knew him later. I didn't know him, but I, I saw him later in life. Like, And I see him occasionally. He's pretty normal now. Yeah, he's pretty normal now. He's just, I don't know, that was weird. I, You know what would be hilarious? If I went up to him and was like... And then he goes, what are you doing? Don't talk to me, infidel. I wonder if he would just cringe in his pants. Just be like, oh no, I said that to you, didn't I? Or maybe he'd be like, what? Maybe he wouldn't remember at all. Maybe he'd be like, huh. Because I do see him occasionally, just in passing. He, he doesn't remember me, I don't think. Because we didn't go to the same school. We just had the same transfer station. But he did come to my school for options uh, like two years later. So, but I don't think he remembered me. But I, I don't know. I don't necessarily have a good memory, but I remember stupid, useless stuff like that all the time. I remember events more than I remember, like, say, facts or any other type of information. I'll just remember like, oh, hey, remember that time that we experienced this? I'll remember those types of things. So it's kind of kind of a good memory, but not, not for anything necessarily useful. I love Saskatoon says Barbara. 
Was he a kid or a grown adult hanging around at a school? No, he was a kid. <laughs> that would be super weird if he was an adult. <laughs> Don't talk to me, infidel. Okay. I have it here. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, if you want to push the trees back, the area at the bottom of the tree trunks and above the fallen tree are brighter green in spots like meadow break. Kind of like a water, like the water in the moose painting. Oh yeah, that was an accident. I didn't actually mean to do that. Uh, I don't necessarily want to push the trees back by doing any of that because I'm, I'm just going to make tall grass here. Like it's tall grass for, for that, that covers up the horizon you know so if you like chalk down the grass then then you would see that i think i don't know <clears throat> but i could do that i could do a brighter green i absolutely could when i look at this picture the brighter green it kind of starts here and goes all the way back to the tree so is that what you're saying in that case yes i agree with you that's that's it that is kind of what i'm going to do i think I'm gonna, okay, I'm just gonna start with a very yellow down green. We'll see if I like that. If it looks stupid, well, it'll just be a layer. And then I'll add some like tan type colors in there as well. So it's definitely green, but it's definitely a very light green, yellowy-ish. Green. This might be a mistake, but let's see.
Okay, we got some grass in there. I need to do, I gotta wait for that to dry, I think, a little bit. And I need to do thinner of a different color to break it up. That would be some thick ass grass, but I mean, we're, we're a little, you know, we're finger painting. We got some exceptions to, uh, to the, uh, like we're using some artistic license, I guess. Gesundheit, thank you, Renee. I think for the painting with Bob, with Bob, Link yesterday, I rewatched it and it was wild. Josh looks so young, but his voice is at it, as it is now, wild. <laughs> yeah, dude, don't get sick. You will age like a freaking jug of milk. Looks like daffodils. I like the yellow indication. Indication of grass? Yes, that looks good. Oh, thank you, Char. Misty's Adventure. Wow, I haven't seen you in so long. Wait, is it you who I remember? Misty's Adventures? Where have you been? Where have you been? You know what's effed up? Johnny Cash, his dad. I guess I don't know what it's like to lose a son. But imagine your brother dies and then your dad goes, Where have you been? Like somehow it's your fault and you should have known. You know, it's funny, me and Jarrett say that to each other all the time. Jarrett, my friend from Confessions Keiko. Where have you been? <laughs> and I don't know why. I don't know, even know how it started. It's given a lot more depth. Okay, good. My pleasure, Parsh. Yeah, it is wild what a difference a few years makes. I clicked on an older video of Alex and he looks so different also. Oh, does he really? Also, weight gain makes people look a lot older. Like, look how fat my face is compared to what it was. <laughs> Can't even make it look skinny compared to what it was a couple years ago. You never miss a video? Wait, I don't see you in the comments section or in the uh, in the live video comment section. I don't think I see you in the comment section at all, but hey, good. I'm glad you're here. Uh... Okay, you think that's dry yet or no? I don't think so, but. Okay, let's get some, okay, so we're gonna do, what did they say? They said some burnt umber, or no, they said some, what did they say? Oh, this is burnt sienna, hold on. Where's the burnt umber, right here. Right? Uh, and some white and some yellow. So we'll use, use like this. Take a little bit of yellow. Completely closed up. I didn't put the lid on here. <laughs> Let me stab it. Everyone should have a, whatever this knife is called in their studio. I got this from Jim. Not Jim who's here, but the other Jim. He gave me a bunch of knives actually. He gave me like 15. Oh yeah, okay. There we go. New lit, a new uh, opening. Come on. There we go. Hey, this is not a judgment on anyone. It would be a stupid judgment if it was, but. I just want to make that clear. This is not a judgment on anyone. Actually, I'll, I'll ask it as, I'll say it as a question. What do you guys prefer? A studio that's nice and clean and everything's in its spot and you can see 
if something is out of place or do you like a place that looks like huh there's a lot that goes on here look how messy this is to me my answer to that is i like the when i go into someone's studio and it's clean like uh jeff our good friend from the uh the bottle cap uh what's this called Je jam bottle cap uh youtube and instagram uh who i who i featured on my channel i like his studio just fine but it's too clean for me it's too it's not very interesting unfortunately it's very clinical i went to this one dude's place on salt spring island he was a woodworker a turner and carver and uh his studio so much dust so many tools so many things hanging from the ceiling so many projects the only clean space was his uh i guess you would call it a gallery he had a gallery of shelves of of wood uh bowls and such i thought it was so cool and i love it i took some pictures of it years ago i don't know if i still have them somewhere but anyway me looking at this bottle this reminds me of a this reminds me of someone's studio and I don't know whose it is, but I just, I don't know. For some reason, I just like the look of, of this. I don't know. Made me think of that. The art store I got it from is like the shittiest art store in terms of their presentation. They got shelves, like random, like shell, all mismatched shelves and just stuff on them. I don't even know how they know where everything is. Awesome. Just, it's so cool. And to be fair, there is a, there is something to be said about some sort of functionality as well, where you, you need to have a clean space for the type of work that you do. You know what? I don't actually think the background needs this. What I think it needs, what I think it needs what I really hear is I just need thin, thin, if I flick it, mm, no, that's not quite it. I just need thinner than my fingers can make. But I don't want to use a brush. That's okay. That's okay. I gotta make sure that my grass line is relatively straight. Yeah. Some of that's gonna get covered up as well anyway. I hate these new headphones. They don't stay on. Also, they don't tell you when they're low battery. They say that they last 16 hours, which is why I got them, because the old ones I had only lasted 14 hours. And uh, they don't last 16 hours ever. And uh, they turn off by themselves. 
and they uh, they don't tell you when there's low battery. They don't tell you when you've hung up on a phone call. Frick, it's annoying. Anyway. Burnt Sienna. Oh, it's Burnt Sienna with yellow and white, not Burnt Umber. Oh, well. I don't think you look old now. You just looked like a kid back then. Yeah, I know. What happened? What happened? What happened, man? I don't know how I would have aged differently if I wasn't in such pain. But it, not to say that I'm in such pain at the moment. I, I feel relatively okay. But, you know, for the last almost two years, I've been in a great deal of pain a lot of the time. And so it's like, that's got to take some sort of toll on you. I love your area you're working in. I totally understand the ordered, ordered chaos, I think you mean. A clean studio looks like they don't do anything. Yeah. However, I will say this. There are some... Uh, artists, craftsmen, who have a neat area. But they have a... Hmm, how do you say this? They have a... Like, the other day, I saw this person, I don't know who they were, I didn't care to check for some reason, but it was like a time lapse of them cleaning up their studio, and it was like from a high angle, wide angle, and they had, it was all white. The floor, the walls, I don't know what the ceiling was, because we couldn't see the ceiling, but all white, and it was like plank flooring and stuff. They were cleaning up, and it looked so good clean as well. So I think... I think for a time, things will be clean, and it'll still look good. I don't know. I don't know what the, you know, whatever is, the French kiss is, but, hey, what does je ne sais quoi mean? Am I even saying that right? I don't know what the je ne sais quoi is, but, you know, you know where stuff is. We don't need to know, right? I have to get ready for work. Looks fantastic. Looks great so far. I've watched after, I'll watch after work. Love it. All right. See you later, PG. I like a messy clean where I can find everything, but not so organized I don't want to touch anything. Ooh. Messy says Squirrel Squad Luan. Somewhere in between, uh, says Omizu Paints. Though my studio is usually messy. You know what I like, actually? This is what I like. I like a carefree environment. That's what I think I like. I don't care if it's messy or clean maybe so much as I would care if it's carefree. Like, like let's do a little studio tour while we're waiting for this to dry, okay? Studio and workshop tour. My craft space sometimes looks like a bomb has gone off. Hey, this always looks like that. It's probably annoying to Clint, but honestly, I don't care because it's mine and he gets to use it for free. I would care if it bothered him, if he expressed that it bothered him, but it doesn't. Uh, I left a message in my shop notebook asking whoever's cleaning out my shop to lie and say, and Jim knew where everything was. <laughs> when you pass away, you mean. That's hilarious. Look at this mess. And Jim actually knew where everything was. He knew that there was light bulbs in this bin of screws. Uh... Garbage bags? Screws and garbage bags. Also had these two light bulbs. Of course, this would be me, not Jim. I like all the paint dribbles on the wall. Well, that's not necessarily messy. That's just a consequence of painting. Jam doesn't really do anything in his studio to make a mess, though, does he? No, he doesn't. So it's, it's excusable. Take a look at Albert Einstein's deck. Super messy. Yes, that's right. Maybe grass in front of the fallen log, Josh. Oh, there will definitely be grass in front of there, Chris. But yeah, that's that was like that's been the main idea the whole time, actually. We do not have a proper art material store where I'm at. It's Michaels, Hobby Lobby, or the big box places like Home Depot or Lowe's. Oh, okay, yeah, we have Michaels, but then we also have some mom and pop type art stores. They're very expensive, though. Usually, we did have an art store at one point, but the internet put them out of business. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, thanks. Under the log looks unfinished a bit. Yeah, some, sometimes it, it uh, I, 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 I hear the audience being a little impatient. I'm kind of working from the back coming forward. 
So yeah, of course that will all be done. That would be so weird if I left it like that. <laughs> uh, so I need a clean area for creative process. Hey, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just wondering whatever where everyone's like mind is at. I prefer what I'm about to show you. Once I uh, catch up on these comments, the painting reminds me of a Bill Bryson's book cover, Walk in the Woods. I haven't seen that. Remind me about that in a minute here, though. Oh, I think we're at the end here. Uh, je ne sais quoi basically means I don't know what. Ah, I see. Okay, let's turn this around here. So, even the outside is a little bit messy. Forgive me. Ashley hates this, but it will be cleaned up in in time. We got the daydream shop, right? We come in. I still didn't remember when I said I was going to cover this hole. <laughs> well, I just, I still is just tape, <laughs> but that's okay. Hold on. We'll do this the other way. I don't, I don't mean to, uh, I wish this could go wide angle. Okay. Let's come on it. Oh, also we have lockers out here with nothing in them. Those actually might go to Dakota. Anyway. Okay. Here we go. We come in. Okay. We have an assortment of things to look at, I like to call it. Okay. It's not a mess. It's things to look at. I'm going to move somewhat slowly so you kind of get a good look at everything without it being a dizzy uh, mishap in your brain. Okay. So over here, I know that all the screws and hardware goes here. Okay, that's what I made this shitty shelf for. Okay, these light bulbs were given to me by Landon. I might give them back to him if he wants them uh, for his house. He gave them to me because he didn't know what to do with them. So they're there because I don't know what to do with them either. We got wood here. This is all Clint's wood from this point over. This stuff is my stuff. Although I don't think this is mine or this. Oh, this might be mine. Okay. Every time we reclaim something that's got this weird type of ornateness to it, not weird, but like, you know, it's not straight. We always put it here as well. Um, and then we got some stuff up here. I got a plank for when I'm doing construction and stuff. Got a bunch of random pieces of wood up there. I actually don't even know what they are. Got some Tyvek and some other random stuff. That's like lost forever. We'll probably never use that. We will. As time goes on. We've got some legs up there. This is where I put all the legs. Um, I love the look of this. Okay. I can't really explain it, but I love it. Okay. This, this is an I spy book. I might do, a, I might make a coffee table book of the daydream shop, right? The apron, the random cans of, paint and stain handmade or homemade stain or dye i'm not sure what that is okay a box of aluminum nails for no reason okay oh this is actually mine i don't know why this is here but whatever there used to be clamps up there but they're in use or whatever some guitars that clint made and then didn't uh they unfortunately got wrecked when his shop flooded too much moisture all right some street signs right this is so cool. Unfortunately, we can't walk back there anymore because that shit is in the way. But I got some good wood in there. All right. This workbench, uh, it broke <laughs> from loading it up too much and then moving it and it just breaking. But remember when we got that when we were doing batch D maybe of the cutting boards? I can't remember. This is a bench that we're working on. We're actually making a video. Then we... It decided nah okay then we go over here we did some reorganization okay this used to be here like this now we moved it like this this was there for a while we just moved it over a little bit all this area is great except for we keep hitting our heads on this just like jim you know where everything is hey i know where quite a bit is I don't know where everything is sometimes. These skateboards are not supposed to be there, but actually I had them in her car because I borrowed it. And then uh, she, she put them in here. This is where the ladders go. That's where the wall ball ball goes. 
uh, broom and stuff. This ram shit. That broke. I bought this, and it worked for, like, three months. And now it doesn't work anymore. Piece of junk. Uh, and I didn't keep the receipt or anything, and I didn't get the warranty, because I never do. And so now it's just there. I don't want to throw it away just in case it can be fixed, but I don't know how to fix stuff like that. So, I mean, I could figure it out, I'm sure. But anyways, we got this stuff. I know where there's some stuff in there, and then other stuff. It's just a place to put stuff. And I know what's in there. That's some of my job site tools. Those are... We got those from the dump, remember me and Gramps? By the way, Gramps is coming very shortly, but I still have Gramps Chronicles material from last year that I haven't done anything with. Okay, we moved this to over here. We moved this. Oh no, we didn't move that, sorry. That's been there. We moved, what was here? Oh yes, we moved that from here into there. And then we brought it back out here. It'll probably go back here. That's that's what I'm trying to think of. I like putting random stuff like this in the shop. This man is a pervert. If seen, contact Dwight Schrute. That's a joke from the office. Right, just something to catch uh, a layman's eye. This is a cutting board that was started by Stephanie Captine, who you may follow on Instagram. She's supposed to come back and finish that, but she hasn't yet. Okay, some job site tools and toolbox and stuff, whatever. Okay, and another cool looking area for some reason. This just looks dope because it's just like, what? We got some fast orange hand cleaner. We got some little stubby legs. We got obviously a project that hasn't been seen through. All this up here, the messy or not the messy but the busy background broken skateboard right thank you to jim different jim again the guy who gave me the knives gave me this what a generous dude he was um got some respirators hanging up there here's another knife from jim this probably used to be stabbed into the wall like that one right there probably also from jim uh I like this for some reason. If the air compressor wasn't there, but all that random wood stuff back there, it just looks cool. This, it looks terrible, but it looks cool at the same time. It's just, these are broken batteries. I gotta bring them to the depot, the Eco Depot. Uh, oh. I don't know why this is cut like this, but actually I'm gonna bring it over there because I can use it for that project. All right, then we got this. This is actually the Patreon build of the month that we're gonna give away in April. So if you want a chance to do this, you gotta be tier three and up, the $20 tier. It's, uh, it's kind of hard to see what it is, but again, that's what makes it look cool. If I were to visit this shop, I would be, I would just love it. All this random stuff under here. I don't know. It's it's my bag anyway. Then all this down here. Anyway, this is a bear rug made out of wood. It'll look a lot better when it's done. And then, of course, I'm using this table right now, so it's 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 messy because we're actually using. It. Anyone want a taco? I want a taco, Freddy. I don't even know where Canada is. That goes with the name. Hmm. Maybe you should find another shop cleaner person. Oh, we have one. Elena. But I just, I'm so broke, I can't, I can't pay her. So I'm not going to make her clean for free. Although she totally would. Um, I love this shelf. You know? Just a bunch of random stuff in there. I love milk crate shelves for some reason. They just look cool. That will fall one day. I like these Tonka trucks. I don't know if this is Tonka, but whatever that is, I like it. All right, this is the project that I'm working on. This is where I stopped last night. I tried to bend this, but it's tool steel, so it's hard to bend. <laughs> so I gotta heat it up, then I'll bend it. But this will be a cool, 
uh, sculpture for the art show coming up April 19th. See, I like this. You know, it just looks fun. It looks like, huh, what the heck could he have possibly been making? Look, I burnt a hole through the glove yesterday. Even this area. I love the dust, the sawdust, and the whatever, and then the random pictures and random stuff on the wall. Our sanding table, which we hardly ever use <laughs> because this freaking thing broke too. It's brand new. I don't understand. Probably too much dust in, the, in its mechanisms, whatever, electricity or something. I don't know. I don't know. This It just tells a story as you walk through. I like it. I like the McDonald's garbage garbage thing. I like this little sign that Ashley put up here. So that cause this is where we have the bottles. That's oh, about to come off. And we have the tape. This is our tape rack thing. We put all this tape on it. And then we got a bunch of wood in here. Because I refuse to throw out wood. Well, a lot of the time we keep little things like this, which some people think is a waste of space, but I don't. Although I wouldn't keep this normally. Or this MDF. That's probably Clint just putting it there. Yeah, actually, I hate all the MDF that's in here. I don't. I will never keep MDF because I'll never use MDF. Got a bunch of blueprints. And such. Those will never be used again, but we got them. Uh, those are, to be clear, those are not from my projects. Those are just, I found those and I liked them. I was like, I'll use those for art somewhere, like wallpaper or something. And then... I have a vlog coming out about some of this in here, but I'll show you anyway. Well, it doesn't really matter. In the art trunk... Frick, I love this. Well, let's see if that... Uh, we're going to stay blown out there. But I love this. I love how I know where everything is in here. This is a place where I actually know where everything is. Unfortunately, the aisles are getting crowded up. That's not me, though. I never put any of this stuff in here. That would be Clint. Uh, but he probably put it in there to get out some stuff from our new part of the art trunk. But yeah, this is just dope. I like it. It just looks cool. Every time I see a shop like this, I'm like, heck yeah. This is exactly how life should be lived. <laughs> I mean, obviously it doesn't matter if, if, if people are different than me, but uh, I like, I like, I like uh, relating to people. I almost tripped over this. <laughs> Anyways, do you think we're dry now? The milk crate shelves look cool against the different slats of wood on the wall. It's actually not against, it's it's just beside it. So we, we, this used to be my hammer wall, which I mean it still is, but it gets covered. If I was here by myself, it would be, like things would be different the way that I have things set up, but I'm here with Clint and he does projects that I have nothing to do with and so obviously, you know, we just got to move things around, whatever. For those of you concerned, I do have a fire extinguisher. Actually, I have three. There's one of them. I wonder if it needs to be recharged. I don't know. Some guy who was uh, a fire marshal gave that to me because he was like, dude, do you have a fire extinguisher in here? And I was like, yeah, somewhere. And he, he was like, where is it? I'm like, ah, it's probably under there. And he, so he gave me, he gave me three. Three good ones. Okay. You need to figure a visit a visit my way. Now I'm curious to what sort of story my shop. Dude, I actually was gonna ask you earlier in this video. Hey, I should come out to your shop and we could make those strap hinges if you're down. It is it is uh the winter is over. What did you say you'd be free? In the spring, right? It is spring, right? 
Uh, that art trunk looks like a mini warehouse of, or a mini version of Warehouse 13. What is Warehouse 13? I'm not sure. This workshop is huge. Was it there when you bought the house? Uh, the, this building, yes. It's a piece of shit. Um, it actually was uh, deemed a teardown and we were actually supposed to tear down. But then I was like, how about you make me? And so I just fixed it up good enough. I fixed, fixed all the rot in the studs that was all along this wall because the outside the outside used to be like over the like here's the wall the outside used to be like this and so we had all this was rotten so i sistered up i cut out everything that was rotten and i sistered up on every single stud i think and then along the far wall the uh, south wall as well this wall is fine my house is on the other side of there. I mean, it's not touching, but it's on the other side. This seems huge. It's actually not that big. It's a four-car garage, which is big for a workshop. But we park outside. So if you're a type of person who wants to park inside, you know, stuff like that, it's, you know, it's not really that big. It's, I don't know, it's uh, 55 by... By 26, I want to say. Or is it 36? Hold on, I'm curious. I got to measure. I got to measure. Let's go measure. And then we'll get back to this painting. Anytime after you're done with your show. Okay, perfect. Are you coming to the show, Jim? Oh, actually, never mind. I mean, not never mind, are you coming? I mean, you can still answer that. But my, uh, my gramps will be here. I don't know if he'll want to come. But I was going to say, it would be fun to come out right away, but maybe not. Okay, so I got a tape measure here. We'll go like this. Ah, oh, oh, get bent. Okay, this is 22, so it's 26. 26 by 55 and it's actually two garages or used to be so right here you can see where the two slabs were and that there there's lots of frost even here so you see the cracks right this this side is actually not that bad this garage was built after after that one and this used to be a boxing gym the Chinese boxing connection is what it was called they're now in Stony Plain, um, but you see here, and then it goes goes that way. This used to be like a change room or something. You can see there used to be a heater in here. There was fans all over the ceiling too. Um, you can see the divided wall, and there was a furnace there. So that's another thing. I love putting like random shit like this everywhere. There's just a hand sticking out there. Not everyone notices it, but some people do. That was in my old shop, sticking out of a crack in the ceiling. Some people hate it. Ashley doesn't like that. She thinks it's gross. I got a little Pac-Man up here. Buzz gear over there. Globe up there. Street light and stuff. Anyways, this used to be two garages. And uh, the extreme frost heave here. I, I had a plan of putting epoxy and LED lights in there to make it look like it was glowing lava. But then I decided not to do that because that's a lot of time and money to invest on something that's going to get torn down. Here it's even worse. I covered it up with the rug, but you can still see. Look at the... Like, it's almost as tall as my foot. Now you can't really see from this angle, but... Like... Like, it's, it's right there. It's crazy. Um, anyways, yeah, it was two garages that were, one was built right against the other one, and they took out that gable wall there, and so we have an access up here, and an access over, over there to get into the ceiling. I have lots of vlogs that kind of show the progress and progression of making this work, and for those of you who might remember, we had some issues with getting started here in the shop, and then, of course, then... Ah, frick, life sucks sometimes, you know? 
just as things are getting on track, things just go terribly wrong with my health. And now here we are. I'll probably never be able to build a new shop, but when I do, it's going to be 40, 46, I think it has to be 46 by 56. So it'll be uh, 20 feet bigger that way and one more foot bigger this way. And then it'll also be two stories with a loft on top of it with a technical third floor. My county is not going to allow me to make it, so I'll have to make it an attached garage because you can make your garage as big or your house as big as you want. I was like, well, I was like, I can make it like a seven acre house. And she's like, yep. And I was like, okay, perfect. Hopefully I don't have to have it attached above ground. Hopefully I can have it attached through a tunnel. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, warehouse 13. Yes. What is that? What is warehouse 13? Is there still room for golf, says Barbara? I mean, technically, yes, but we never play it anymore. Uh, your shop and outside looks so much like my dad's. Just look, part of why I enjoy watching you so much. Maybe it is. I never noticed the hand. My room is a two-car converted garage. It's big, but not that big. Two-car, yeah, it's, see, it's big, but not that big. It's, it's... Of course, I have like places like I can chill in here, right? So I can do, I can, I have this couch, we have this couch, we have a bookshelf here. I love this space. Uh, I would love it if it was a lot bigger and I could house a lot more things spread out a bit. Uh, but what's Warehouse 13? You, no one's gonna tell me? Oh yeah, let's see if this is dry. Uh, not quite, but I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Now, I can't believe people thought that I was going to leave this like this. That's so hilarious. Also disappointing. That reminds me of the person who said the moose. They're like, oh, this is a way better moose than you posted yesterday. And I was like, it's the same moose. Progress. We have... This doesn't make any sense. Everyone, not everyone. Many people seem to think that it should look like a finished product from the beginning. But that's it's just not possible. It's just not possible. Where is 13 was an awesome show. Oh, it was a show. If you designate your property a farm, then maybe pay less taxes. Uh, this is Canada. There's no such thing as less taxes. Here's an old video from when Josh started working in the shop. Oh, thank you, Renee. Uh, part of our land is designated as farmland, um, which is considered a business for some reason. And then I had to pay tax, farm tax, some sort of farm tax, only when I bought it. I don't have to pay it every year, but when I bought it, I had to pay some sort of farm tax. And I was like, what? What? And they only told us that after I said that I was native and native people don't have to pay uh, some sort of tax when you buy a place. But I thought that was only on new construction. Anyway. Since we did that, they're like, oh, but also farmland. So how about you pay anyway? Yeah, it was very frustrating. Warehouse 13 was a sci-fi show about cursed objects. Okay, I'll have to look it up on YouTube. If you designate as a cemetery, it's tax-free. Learn that from Donald Trump. Really? There are quite a few dead goats around. Can it be a goat cemetery? Walk 76, Josh looks like a baby. <laughs> it's a warehouse where they store magical and other type things. Would be where the Ark of the Covenant would have got stashed. Ah, I see. Oh, with some orange and white tree fungus on the log. Orange and white tree fungus. I don't know what that looks like, unfortunately. Maybe I do, I just can't picture it for some reason at the moment. I gotta see Warehouse 13. 
I mean, we do got some oranginess going on in there, but I, it's probably not what you're talking about. Okay. Now, the foreground. The foreground. Gosh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Anyone know that song? Don't know what to say. Don't know na 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 I like that song. I don't know what it's called and I don't know who it's by. Maybe Faith Hill? So, if I'm looking at this one, right, you see how he's got random bits of yellow in there as well as the green i might do that i want it to be quite lustrous you see how you can't see the bottom of his body because it's all covered that's kind of what i want to do unfortunately my internet is not working out here so i can't look up new photos but if i had a brush i do have a brush but i don't want to use a brush but that's a little thick. I could put this, I could get, hmm. I need a I need a, hold on, what can I use? What can I use? What can I use, what can I use? I need something to make this, oh, you know what I should do? I should just make the whole, I should let this dry up, right? I'll make the whole small. Let that dry, and then it can come out of there. This is probably going to take forever. I wish I would have thought of this earlier. What else could I use? I could use like a little plastic bag, but I don't have the same control. I don't think. I'm going to put this in front of the heater. Hey, you know someone whose studio is a, an example of a clean, but still has the same vibe studio? Is Casey Neistat. So for those of you who know who he is. Warehouse 13 on the outside looks small, but once you entered the place, it was cavernous. Yeah, that's cool, dude. I like that. Sarah told me if a fire hydrant loses pressure, shake it up side down and then leave it upside down and turn it back at the right way later. Fire hydrant? You mean a fire extinguisher, probably. That's a good idea. I did not know that. Thank you, Wayne. Definitely read Bill Bryson's book. Oh, right. Let me see if the internet is working. Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna take a little break. I'm just gonna chill here, interact with the comments. And then, uh, okay, Bill Bryson, right? That was the, what was the book called? I don't think the internet's going to work. No, it's not working. Yeah, I can't, unfortunately. Plastic knife, maybe, Josh. 
plastic knife would what? Use makeup brush or broom shot. Well, the point is, is that I don't want to use brushes. Otherwise, I would just use a brush that I have. Uh, but that's a good idea with the, with the, like a corn broom probably, you mean? Was supposed to be that breeze, was that supposed to be breeze by Faith Hill? I have no idea what it's called. I don't think so. It's probably called It Matters to Me. It matters to me. Anyway. Use a skewer. Oh, a knife to make the... Yeah, no, I don't want to. This is a finger painting. So, like... <laughs> I don't know how much more clear I can be. But this is not a painting that I want to use... Uh, Thank you, Jim, for sending that to me. I can't watch it on here. I can watch it on here, but then I will leave this. Hey, says Carlene. Like, hey, like horses eat hay. Hey. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't mind using the paint bottle because I don't feel like that's saying it's not a finger painting. But I just don't want to use... Uh, different painting implements. Use a toe. Yeah, something even fatter than my fingers. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> uh, if I had... Uh, dude, that just gave me... If you had one shot, one opportunity. For some reason, that song popped in my head. Did you know Eminem dropped a new album today? Or last night? Infinity? Anyway, uh, if I had a... Um, like long bit of fingernails I could do with my fingernails. I would just go, <laughs> but that might not even be thick enough. I need it to be somewhat thick. Cause if you look at, at... I'm going to delete that for a second. Whoops. Uh, cancel. There we go. Look how thick the grass is there, but those are reedy pieces of grass. So it's, it's different and it works. So, you know, somehow I'm okay with it being thick. And I did that with, like, just squeezing it out of, the, out of the tube, the paint tube. So that's kind of why I want to do it here. But I just don't like how thick it is. It kind of doesn't work if, you're, if you look at the one, the one piece there. I mean, it's kind of hard to see, but I'm not really liking it. If that link doesn't work, let me know and I'll see if I can borrow the DVDs from my electrician for you. Dude, that would be sick. Grow out your fingernails real fast. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want to finish this today, so... I don't know if I will, but once I see the grass, I might be like, Oh yeah, this is perfect. This is exactly what I want. So I don't know how long it's going to take for that paint to skin over tough enough where it won't just squeeze out, but we'll see. Uh, use a chalk... Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll say this one more time. This is a finger painting. I'm not using implements to paint it. A chopstick would be an implement just like a... just like a paintbrush would be. I feel like you're screwing with me because it's April Fool's or something. Go get some acrylic nails done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The thought just came to my mind. Josh cuts and shapes his fingernails to be used as 10 different painting tools. Dude, I don't like long fingernails. I, I think it just looks so gross. On girls, it looks fine. But on dudes, like even people who play like classical guitar and they grow their fingernails, I'm just like, ugh. It just looks disgusting to me. Uh, dudes who have like Coke spoons on their pinkies, gross. I don't even like how long my fingernails are right now. You can't really tell, but they're somewhat long. I don't know. It just it looks bad to me, and I would never do that, but that is funny. <laughs> okay. Well. I do like... I do like how it's coming. So that's good. 
It does match that one quite a bit. Also the whale painting that I have inside. The, these three paintings I'll probably bring to the gallery soon. I don't know if they'll display them yet or not. I kind of hope they don't actually because I want it. I want it to be ready for the show. Elbow paintings. Say that would be fine. Same here. It grossed me out too on dudes. Use the tip of your pinky. It's still thick. I need it to be thin, like grass. I might, I might just do it. I might just go thick, and it doesn't matter. We'll see. I just want the, I just want the thing to dry up, and we'll see. Spraying, rubbing alcohol on wet paint creates neat texture. Oh, is that right? What? I should try that at some point. With your nails? Well, my nails don't stick out a lot more further than my pinky. I tried to do it with my nails on the background, and that's all thick. But that's okay. That is thick because a lot of it's going to get covered up. We'll see. We'll see. You know what we'll do? Why don't we... A fake fingernail glued onto yours. That would be a good way to get around it, but I don't have fake fingernails <laughs> just laying around. I don't I don't know about you. But myself, we don't we don't got it. Let's do the eyes. Basically out of black. Definitely need to go get some more black soon. <laughs> Can you guys see that? Does that? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Go get some Lee Press-On nails from the grocery store. I don't know what that is, Lee Press-On, but that would be funny. Last influence suggestion is to use a fork. I'm just going to ignore those from now on.
we go. Okay, I'm gonna go check on that green. Probably not ready yet. Cut out a stencil for the grass and use spray paint. Oh, I, could, I would do that, but it doesn't really work. I'm from the 80s that's held on last night. That was the press on nails. Or an an 80s kit, what? I am an 80s kid. Oh, okay. I would use a stencil. It's different than an implement. I don't want to apply the paint with an implement. You could always paint in the grass and fine tune it with different paints to make it look better. Yeah, that's true. Maybe put a dab of paint on the tip of each nail and run the fingernails up the paint. Yeah, that's what I did with the background. It works kind of, but not, not quite. Here, let me show you. Okay. It doesn't work. We need, uh, we need much, more loaded paint. Actually, that kind of works.
Yeah, let me go grab that. in front of the heater for however long that was. It's still not good, but actually I'm going to try something here. No. Some of these are mad thick, but you know what? I might be fine with it. Okay.
Whoops. That was mad thick. scratchy on the old hand there. Wow. Some of that paint is sharp.
The paint that I put on there before that's hardened, that was texturized. When I hit it hard enough. Oh, I thought I was bleeding for a second, but that's just some brown paint. Uh, dang, it's, it's like surprising.
Okay, I gotta wait a little bit. I can do some more. Is this your showstopper piece for the art show? Uh, no, not not at all. This is no. I'm glad. I'm flattered that you think that this could even be a a thought of mine, because. <laughs> I mean, I think it's a cool painting, I guess, but no, not even, not even a little bit. Uh, I guess I don't actually have that thought about any of the pieces. I hope people like it. I hope it makes people, you know, stop and look, but in no way am I like expecting anyone to be like, oh my God, this is the crown jewel. It would be nice, but. The alcohol spray would create the spotty tops of grass dappled effect. You know, I actually don't know what you mean. I don't know. What, I don't even know what you're, what you mean by that. But uh, I'm going to try that at some point when I have some. You said rubbing alcohol, right? When I have some, I'll, I'll, I'm going to try that because I want to see what it does. It looks incredible. I actually want to keep this. Uh, I doubt it. I don't think she likes this one. But, but maybe. I appreciate the compliment. It's really coming together, says Felicia Lee. Oh, dang, Felicia. I haven't seen you in a minute. Excited to see the end. Well, thank you. What a fun journey the series has been. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Terrell. I'm glad you think of it as a as a privilege. I don't know if you think of it as a privilege, but Whatever, in that vein. He needs a new supply of paint, all colors. I definitely do. <laughs> I know you're probably going to tweak it, but it's looking really good. Oh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta finish it, at least. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to... Let's see if the internet works yet. It's one o'clock. How long have we been live for? Two hours and 11 minutes? I know some people don't like these longer lives. Um, okay. But uh, this is how long I'm working on it for, so this is how long I'm live for. I always miss your lives. I try. Well, thanks for trying. Don't question, but does your shirt say Joel because of Joel? Oh, yeah. So this is... This is Joel's logo. That's him running with his red backpack thing. This is, I mean, it's not his logo. I mean, I made it up. It's me. I made the shirt. And then the back, hold on, let me, this up here. I made this for his death race. Hopefully you guys can see that. So it's Joel, that's his silhouette, um, taken from a different race that he did. And he's running on a cabbage. Um, this was uh, designed with lots of help from Heather. Which, by the way, I haven't seen Heather in such a long time. I wonder if she still follows. I don't know. Actually, no, she does. Because I saw, I messaged her just the other day. Well, not the other day, but like a couple weeks ago. I just noticed I haven't seen her for a minute. Um, but anyway, uh, she did the Photoshop work for me. I basically said, hey, I need this turned into a silhouette. So him, I'm like, I need, what did I say? I said, I want the, the shield shape. Uh, I want the purple stripes and stuff. Anyways, she did a lot of that. I basically just said what I wanted and she, she, she made it with uh, what I had come up with in my ramblings of a texter. And then... Uh, yeah, it actually, I wanted it to say Polak at first, because they're Polish. But, the stupid political climate of today, someone would misread it as Polak, P-O-L-A-C-K, which is a, I don't know if you consider it a racial slur, but it's like a, it's like a demeaning term. But, Polak, P-O-L-A-K, just as just short for someone from Poland. Um, so we decided not to do it. Um, him being Joel, he probably wouldn't have cared either way uh, what people would have thought. But I don't know. The uh, 
the vote was to not say Polak instead, because some people would think of it as Polak instead of Polak. I mean, they're said exactly the same, <laughs> but they're spelled differently. But I don't know. They're Polish, so I wanted to do the cabbage uh, instead of the earth. He's running on a cabbage instead of the earth. And uh, uh, the water, it's just a play on their last name. What's up? What do you think? People say that you'll love it, but I don't know if that's true. I like it. Don't lie to me. I like it now more with the grass and orange. Yeah, Ashley has that same trouble as apparently a lot of people have is if it's not finished, they can't really see the finished product. And so they they think, oh, you, what you should do is the thing that you're not ready to do yet. <laughs> and she just said, I like it more with the grass. But I can tell she doesn't really like it. So whoever said that she would love it and want to keep it, I, I knew that. She was, I knew you were, I knew that it was just dreams, hopes and dreams. No, I like it. No, you don't. Oh. Don't pretend you like it. Why would you pretend? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Just try not to sound like a, like a, like a surly person. But that one's looking great. She likes the Axl Rose one way more than she likes the freaking bear <laughs> one. That's hilarious. Did I actually see it with the laser eyes? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I think that's, it's not done yet, though, right? Or is it done? No, it's not done. Okay, yeah. But I'm sure when you're done, I'll like it. I doubt it. It's not going to look much better. I already different. like it better now. Well, of course. <laughs> Everyone would like it better now than it was before. That's part of the journey, though. Journey. Is my clock intentionally a few minutes slow? Well, this clock is from the dollar store, so no. It's not intentionally slow. It's It's... From the dollar store. It's actually a whole hour and a few minutes slow. Is this supposed to be for water? No. I'm going to weld after this. Oh, you got it in here. I see. I didn't want to burn my arms. Wow, this is hard to find. Oh my gosh. There you go. How's that? You like that better? People are saying hi, by the way. Oh, hello. Shirley says, Ashley, you let me down. Some people like it. I don't know. It'll be good for the show, though. Because someone, someone, someone will be like, 10 grand? That's it? I'll give you 20. And they'll buy it. Actually, you know what they might do? They might buy the moose and the, and the whale. That'll be 30 grand. My goal is to make $10,000. So come on down to the show. There's art at every price point. Uh, although I don't make money off of the the paper prints as much. So So go up to the... Buy one of these. <laughs> no, I'm playing. Uh, there is art at every price point. Uh, I think it starts at like $175. So maybe not absolutely every price point, but that's the lowest we can go is $175. So, and, and they're all framed uh, uh, open editions, by the way. So they'll, they'll all be framed. Uh, the, the canvas prints, probably not all of them. Will, many of them won't be framed, I can guarantee that. And many of the originals also will not be framed, but there's framing, uh, um, like options, and you can check those out. I believe they have. We'll, we'll have framing samples there. So there's going to be like anything from my imagination series, my movie. What did I say? Finger painting movies series, uh, my sports series, uh, the uh, the musician series, obviously. Then. Of course, we're working on the animal series here. Uh, the obviously the 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 soft unveil series. Uh, that's not what it's called, but like what I'm going to be unveiling there is going to be the um, hot dogs in space series, um, as well as my X-ray series, my fair weathered friends series. 
Uh, my toy series is not going to be there. Because I only have the Green Army Man. And I, I want to really... And I, I have the troll, but I, I plan on doing lots of different styles of hair. So it's the same one with all the different hair. So, and I haven't... I'm not going to have time. So I'm not, I have the toy series there. But next year, I will. Next year, I'll have more. Um, all sorts of different pieces there. There'll also be some sculpture there as well. Like, I'm working on that big one out there that you saw. Um, I'm hoping to do another huge one. I don't think I'll have time for that second huge one. Uh, but we'll see. We've got those. There's going to be complimentary food and drinks. Alcoholic and non-alcoholic. There's not going to be a bartender, so don't expect to get these fancy cocktails. Not even non-fancy. There won't even be screwdrivers. They'll just be... I mean... No, I don't think they can have hard liquor, actually. I was going to say, we could just you could just make your own screwdriver. Tiny bit of orange juice. Tons of vodka, if you wanted. No, don't get hammed where we have to shut down the event, actually. No hard liquor. But there will be... There'll be some beers and there will be some obviously sodas, waters, uh, banana bread, uh, live music. Come in a costume related to the space series or or uh, someone asked if they could come as banana bread. Yeah, sure. That counts. But like you can come as like a relish or like a hot dog or an astronaut. And then you'll get a door prize. This is all on April 19th, 2024. 4 to 8. I said 4 to 9 in my promotional material that I already put out. But that's because I didn't know the mall closed at 8. I thought it closed at 9. Um, and there will be... Uh, there will be... Uh, there will be... Uh, uh, what do you call them? Not door prizes, but... <laughs> I'm trying to think of something other than door prizes. Yeah, door prizes. There'll be door prizes. They'll all be made by me. There'll be a couple cutting boards. Uh, well, one cutting board, one charcuterie board. I was thinking about making a banana bread board real quick and giving away a banana bread board, but I was like, ah, then it's just a bunch of boards. Uh, there will be um, a little sculpture as well and a few other things. Ashley's leaving. Everyone say bye. I'm just oh, she's actually not leaving, but she kind of is. Uh, add a little bit of tree fungus on the dead tree and the ones in the background. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're dying. We're dying. Don't die on me. Don't die on me. Okay, if we, if we die... That's the end, and I'll do another series. I'll do the end of the series tomorrow, but I'm just waiting for this to all dry. Um, so this might die. My bad. Um, yeah, put the fungus you say on the trees. I'm not going to do that. Ah, maybe I will. I don't know. I'm not going to put it on the ones in the background. I might have to do a little more. So I really like the blue, whoever had the blue idea. So I might do... A little purple back there as well. We'll see. We'll see what I have to do there still. Um, but they're not meant to be very obvious. They're meant to be like out of focus. Which maybe they're not out of focus enough. And so if I spray a little more spray paint to make it look a little more out of focus. I don't know. I don't know how to do it that well I guess. Oh, I know what I could do. I know what I'm going to do. The clock in my car is the correct time for the first time in months since the clocks went forward yesterday. Oh, nice. Makes my OCD happy. My CDO. Yeah, I like that. That's a good joke. When is your light saving time change? We had it done just this weekend. I don't know. A couple weeks ago, I guess. Have you seen Hans lately? Yeah, they were, he was here the other day. He's doing well, I think. Oh, shoot. Renee's husband's got a abdominal hernia surgery tomorrow. 
Dude, did I ever tell you about the time? Yes. Good luck with the uh, surgery, uh, of course. Um, so, when I was in the hospital last year, not last year, two years ago, almost two years ago, uh, maybe like the third or fourth time, I can't remember, but this is the one of the times that I had to wait because there was no, there's no room for me just yet. I was like next in line with this other dude funny story this one guy was pissed that I was ahead of him because he had a broken leg I think or a broken arm dude there's one dude who clearly his leg was shattered and he was not complaining at all but this one guy he had like a broken arm I think it was a broken arm or a suspected broken arm I'm not sure he could walk actually no he was standing so it wouldn't have been a broken leg he said something I can't remember someone Oh, actually, you know what? I don't even think it was him. I think it was his wife. So he had some concern. I don't blame him for having concern. Because I was there. I was laying on the table. Okay? So if you can imagine, this couch is the table. But this, just this, just this. Just this was the table. Okay? Not these. Okay? Not these two. Just the middle one. I was laying like this. On the table. Cause I didn't want to lay on the floor, but I needed to lay down, but there's no, like, there's no benches in the waiting room. There was just uh, chairs with arms on them. So I couldn't do it. So I'm laying on the table and he thought I was hammered. I think, uh, <laughs> actually, I think this was the third time I was there now that I'm thinking about it. Anyway, this is in the ER. So. I'm telling two different stories here, by the way. Um, so he he's he's upset with me. And I didn't know he was upset with me because I wasn't paying attention to no one. I was just dying. Not literally, but I thought I was. I don't know if I thought I was dying. I just, something was seriously wrong. And so I, I'm like trying to like just, Ashley was trying to teach me how to like meditate, but I I couldn't do it. Uh, this I hurt way too much, but I was trying to just be like trying to breathe, trying to stay still, trying to stay comfortable because moving seemed to make it worse in my head. But that was probably just psychological. I was try I was trying just doing everything I possibly could to relieve this pain, which obviously I could not do. So hence why I was in the hospital. So, uh, I look like I'm hammed. Anyways, they call me. They say, Josh, some other dude, and the dude with the shattered leg. Um, so us three got to go in uh, at the same time. And so I get up, and, like, my condition looks like nothing. It looks, it's invisible, right? So I get up, and I look like I'm walking normal somewhat. I mean, I'm kind of, like, wincing, but, like, like, I don't know. I was trying to be as stoic as possible. So he probably just saw me going like this. Walking. And he was like, oh, of course. Of course. I think he thought I was drug seeking or something. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, I'll tell the rest of that story after. So I get in there. And then they're still calling this one other dude, the third guy. But he's taking a while to get in. And he, he has his hand in his pants a little bit. And he's like, he's clearly in pain. Clearly. And so he's beside me in the, in the emergency room, like in the wherever you get seen. I forget what it's called. After the triage and after the waiting, right? Like, you're in a bed. Of course, I was in a chair, not a bed. A chair that could recline. Anyway, he's... He's beside me and he is in a bed. <laughs> and so they gave me some sort of drugs. I can't remember, but it, it made me get very brain foggy, but it, it took away the pain a little bit there, which was great. It took away the pain to how I feel right now, which was awesome. I could, I couldn't, I couldn't stand much longer of that. I, I thought anyway, Doctor comes in, sees me, whatever. 
I, I have a brain injury thing, so they see me first. Then they see uh, the dude with the shattered leg. He's on my left. The guy who has his hand down his pants is to my right. She's the guy with the shattered leg, and he's like, he's like, ah, I think you should see that guy, that guy first, because that guy he <laughs> he could barely walk. The guy with the shattered leg could walk fine, not walk fine, but with his crutches he could walk fine. So. <laughs> He goes into the guy on my right, and then he's like, he's like, he's like, okay, so what are we in for? And he's like, ah, I have this, I have this, like, growth or something in my, whatever. And he, like, he, I don't know, I can't see him, so I can't really see what he's doing, but I, I'm assuming he pulls down his pants, and then the doctor goes, like, oh, how long has that been like that? And the dude goes, ah, oh, about a decade. <laughs> the dude had a hernia for a decade. And he's just like, you know what? I should probably go to the hospital now. So I don't know if it like goes away and comes back. And it, I, I don't know how a hernia works. I've never had one. But he said he had it for a decade. Which made me laugh. Made the bright broken leg guy laugh. I don't know if Ashley laughed. I can't remember. But I just, oh, yeah, about a decade. Frick, that was funny. Anyways, he had a hernia, and they they uh, did something for him. Uh, but not at that hospital. They brought him to a different hospital. Um, which I thought was funny. Anyway, the next day or whenever I got out of the hospital. Yeah, the next day, I guess. Because I went to my, oh, yeah, I went to my neurologist on the same day. So, right, so I did, I had to leave. As I leave, Ashley's parents knew the guy. They came and visited me for some reason, which was nice of them. I don't mean to say some reason, like like they're not the type of people to do that. They are. But anyways, they came and they knew the guy who was angry at me. And they told him, because at the time we thought maybe it was an aneurysm. And I was supposed to go back to the hospital if I had the thing again. Uh... Because they couldn't see it in the crude imaging. But they're like, well, sometimes it's blah, blah, blah. Anomalies, blah, 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 right? So I went that third time or whatever. And the dude apparently felt really bad for judging me for just being some drunkard laying on the table. Uh, because, of course, I was not... I was not... Classic, classic, uh, what's his name? There should be some right in that box right there. I started an avalanche. Oh. So yeah, Renee, your your husband's predicament triggered that memory. That was I thought that was so funny. Like I mean, it's not that funny because obviously that sucks. But like, just his nonchalant. Oh, about a decade. Like oh, this is normal to wait this long for something like this, isn't it? Hilarious. Uh, Sterling frames your art awesomely. Thank you, Irene. Yeah, they're they're great framers. Uh, Andy Warhol style trolls? Oh, kind of, yeah, it'll be a bunch of, I mean, I'm not doing screen prints, I'm painting them, but yeah. Dang, I would dress up as a ketchup bottle. Please do! Please come. So true, I love my cutting board, says Rosie to Martha, who said they're awesome. Oh yeah, Dakota is tonight, and it's April Fool's Day. Oh, does he do stuff for April Fool's? I actually don't even know. Those are some fancy door prizes. I thought just stickers and prints. No, those who come in a costume get stickers and uh, stickers and patches. Probably patches. I don't know if I can get the patches made in time. Someone needs to find a pickle Rick costume, dude. That would be hilarious. The hernia guy sounds like a Saskatchewan farmer. Maybe. 
Only goes to the doctor when he gets carried. Well, hey, he was there by himself, so he must have been... I mean, he was clearly in tons of pain. Like, he was trying to be stoic, but, like, it took him forever to walk from the waiting room to the, like, emergency room, whatever. Like, there's, like, a sliding door, and she was waiting for him because you have to have a key card, and it was middle of the night, so they, they keep it locked at night. Uh, they have security, but he's at the, he's on the other side of the thing. So, I'm assuming this, I don't know for sure, but they might be keeping it locked or whatever in case there are people who are, like... I don't know, belligerent or whatever. You never know. At night, things go a little differently than during the daytime. Anyway, when I went there during the day, I could just walk in there and walk out. No problem without a key pass or whatever. But at night, she was waiting for him. And yeah, he was not doing well. Yikes, a decade. His is from an accident in 2022. Most recently, he's been in a lot of pain. So when he finally went to have it checked out, they were mad that he waited so long. Oh, yeah. I can't come. I'm in Germany. Low budget. Comments dress up as kids. Oh, hey, that's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind how much money you have come anyway. That's all I'm playing. Uh, well, we'll miss you, but uh, I appreciate your your willingness to wear a costume. That would be hilarious. Um, I don't know if anyone's going to come in in a costume. Probably no one will, but if they do... That'll be a lot of fun. My grandfather went for many, many years with a basketball size rupture hernia. What? Hold on. He had a basketball sticking out of his wherever. He finally did get it fixed in 1978. Found out last year he was kicked by a horse by a person who worked at the farm. Kicked by a horse. Like, so a person made the horse kick him on purpose? I need to sell something. Darn, those tickets are so expensive. Wait, are you coming? Did you say you were coming, Wise? With the wooden shoes. Dude, if you showed up with some wooden shoes. That would be so funny. That would be so funny. Uh, okay. That's probably dry enough by now, I think, maybe, hopefully. Now I'm trying to think of how I should do this. I kind of, when I'm looking at my reference photos, oh, I wonder if the internet works yet. Oh, it looks like it's gonna work. Hey, what was the book that you wanted me to look up before? What was the book, if that person's still here? Rushed my friend to the hospital. Fortunately, I had a wheelchair at the front door because she felt like she was going to collapse. She had West Nile virus. Oh, snap. You know what's crazy? They thought maybe I had West Nile virus or meningitis or some other thing. Yeah, West Nile virus. No joke. I mean, from what they explained to me. But then they showed me my spinal fluid and they're like, look at this. Clear. This is great. You could drink this. I didn't say that part actually, but it looked, it looked, it's so clear. A walk in the woods. Okay. Who's the guy, but what's the, what's the author's name? Bill Bryson. Bryson. Bill Bryson. Walk in the woods. Walk in the woods. Oh, I don't think it's going to work. Come on. Well, maybe if I do this. Let me see if I can do it this way. It's working. Okay. Bill Bryson, A Walk in the Woods. Uh... I don't think it looks anything like that, but I can see kind of how you thought that would remind you of that. I don't think it looks anything like it, though. Are you, is your internet working? It just now started working. Oh, 
Okay, here's another alternate. But that looks not like it either. Oh, wait, a walk in the woods with Nick Nolte? Or wait, was that Nick Nolte? Who was that? Yeah, Nick Nolte and Robert Redford. We just watched this movie, well, a long time ago, actually, like a few months ago, but somewhat recently just watched that movie. Oh, wait, maybe this? Oh, then don't. I'll do it. I can't really find what you are must be thinking of. Or maybe I'm just too... Or maybe this? Come on. Maybe that one? Only 99 cents a month. Anyway, I don't see it, but that's okay. Okay, okay. So let's go with, oh yeah, I wanted to look up. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna look up tall grass. Tall grass, just tall grass. Without the bears. Uh, sure. See, like, I like this. See how thick that is? Or I could do this, although, like, again, I need, let's go spring. Springtime tall grass. View of tall grass of a wild meadow with flowers. This is on what? Oh, this is stock footage. Okay, not exactly what I'm looking for, but I could put flowers in there and that was even suggested. I still have those little bits of purple in there. So I think I like that. I could do something like that too. I forget what those are called. There's this really nice purple flower that grows here, but it's a noxious weed, so we're supposed to destroy it when it grows, which is unfortunate because it looks so nice. Also, what's the other noxious weed that looks like daisies, but it's not apparently? Okay, I'm going to go, actually, you know what, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go tall grass, bare, instead of going bare in tall grass. And maybe that'll give me something that I like. Uh, I'm actually going to go springtime. Springtime, tall grass, bear. How about that? Nicola! Nicola's coming to the art show. Right? Nicola's local. She lives in uh, Sherwood Park. So she'll be there for sure. Looks like ornamental grass. Do you have bears where you live? Excuse my ignorance. There is bears in the province that I live in, but like there's very rarely are they ever in my area. I suppose if the bear in the painting are in a wet meadow, you could have bulrushes and cattails. Uh, I don't think they're near the water. Lupine? Is that what it is? Wetter meadows could have water hemlock. I love watching the bears at Brooks Falls every summer. That's cool. 
Okay. Look at this bear at the water's edge with all that grass. I think I might add a little more dimension to the bear as well. I kind of want to lighten her up. I don't know if I will or not, but we'll see. Okay. trying to see like what would be a good like bit of like because this is all just stringy but what kind of what kind of volume can I put in there like I see this this is like wheat this might be voluntary wheat from the year previous because it's brown so we could do stuff like that You know what? Let's just put in a couple flowers. We'll put in a couple white flowers, daisies type flowers, okay? And we'll go from there. Because I have some white here. They don't even have to be daisies. They can just be something. So I'm just going to go little bits of whatever. And I want to get some purple. Add a little bit of white in there, just so I have some mixtures. I have some purple flowers down here, but I also want to... I don't know if you guys can see that at all. Oh, frick, dude, that's such a good dimension. Hey, Ashley, yeah. come here after. Yeah. I hope these flowers would be blooming at this time of year. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but I think it looks awesome. Would love to. I'm in Florida when it's on, so I'll be sunning myself thinking of you if that can't. Oh, you're going on a vacation to sunny Florida. Well, 
What about a butterfly in the air or just spray painting on the background of, of to mine blooming grass? Spray paint on the background to mine blooming grass? What does that look like? I don't even know. I don't know how spray paint would do that. I wish I knew what that looked like. Josh, you should look up some Alberta wildflowers and add them. This is not necessarily Alberta. I just want I just want it to look cool. I'm not I'm not looking for Alberta. Cool. I like the flowers. Does it add so much? It adds so much. What yeah. the? F it like breaks up the green, maybe. I couldn't like when I pulled back. I was like, holy cow. What looks the? Great. What the hell, right? <laughs> Hey, does this, does he look a little weird, this leg? Or does it look fine? He looks, something looks weird about him. Does he look like he's precariously ba balancing or no? Or does, is he too fat? I was thinking he was too skinny. You think he's too skinny? Maybe. Someone else thought he was too skinny, so I added some fat all the way down to here, from up here. Maybe it's the length of him that makes him look skinny. Or the length of his legs, maybe? Well, their legs are, oh. Let me show you. Maybe the length of his neck. Let me show you a reference photo. Of course, if I always have to show someone a reference photo, does it, <laughs> does it like, it's, it sh I shouldn't have to. <laughs> I imagine, oh, I see, yeah. If anything, I made the legs. Space needs to get puffier than maybe. Bushier? Yeah. I just think those cubs is like really holy. But that, I guess that one that you're showing. They'd be a little older at this point. Right. Because they're, they're all green. I don't know how to demonstrate that without being like, well, actually, guys, and then I have to explain it. That's stupid. I want people to, like, look at it and be like, oh, this is bears. Yeah. Not like, oh, I think he's a little too skinny, don't you think? You know? Like, I don't <laughs> I don't want that to be the reaction. Yeah. And I like him, but, like, so, he's not fat enough, is he? <laughs> right? This doesn't make any sense. Look how big Mama is. Yeah. So it's obviously not when they just wake up. No. Right? Eating. It's like midsummer, maybe late summer even. No, no, no. This is like they would uh, late summer. They would be big. Oh, okay. So like early summer. Yeah, these these guys are like the size of Ava. Oh wow. Yeah, so they're small but not tiny. Right. Because a newborn cub is like the size of the clam. <laughs> yeah. Nice. No, like a newborn cub would be like the size of like if you could hold it, like a teddy bear. A big teddy bear. Dude, but the flowers. So good. It looks great. Let's put in some yellow flowers too. Dandelions. 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 Yeah, that super adds to it, eh? I might have over-engineered my essay thing. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that at the eco. Okay. <laughs> There's two more up there, but they have lids on them and they're full. Yeah, I don't know if they are. Do you want to take those too? Uh, no, I'll look at them. Okay. okay. All right, folks. All right, folks. We're getting somewhere. This is the part of the painting, guys, where I'm like, I don't know what it needs. Like, for a long time, if I show you this piece again, and, of course, this doesn't mean that everyone's going to suddenly like it, but for a long time, this piece, I didn't know what it needed. I always wanted to put a hand in here doing the makeup, 
then I was like, ah, I don't know. I don't know if it needs more. So I did put in the arm. So on this show, this is supposed to be Ellie Mae Clampett. On this show, the makeup artist was this dude. I forget what his name is. So first I drew, I actually drew. <laughs> I painted a woman's hand. So you can kind of see if you look closely, the line right here. And then right here, you can see like the wrist came in here. And the fingers ended somewhere in here. It was a woman's hand, it was smaller. And then I looked it up, I was like, wait a minute. I don't know, I don't know who, so I looked up makeup artists on blah, blah, blah. And, uh, <gasps> Henry brushed up against it, dickhead. Anyway, um, so I changed it to a man's hand. And it looked okay, but then it just, it still looked like, ah, I don't know. So then I put in this hand here. And then I was like, oh yeah, that's it. It's nice and full. It's not, the composition is a little weird because like, what is this? But this is supposed to be like a behind the scenes picture of, of a TV or movie set. Not in this case, it's a movie set or a TV set. I'm going to do more in this series. The The first one that sold is the, is the, the side view of the Terminator. Um, that was unintentionally part of this series. I used to say this was the first, but that one is unintentionally the first because that was before I had this idea. So anyways, uh, I didn't know what to do for a long time with this. And I kind of like, I did stuff, I changed it. I changed the background a few times. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to add the arm. So I add the arm. And I'm so glad I did. I love this piece. I'm going to move this painting up here. i got to clean that off. In my opinion, the background should be in the splatter style. It looks a bit neutral. Splatter style. Like, on that one or on this? On there? Splatter? I think that would ruin that picture myself. But I appreciate that you like that style uh, that I have done in many other pieces. Sometimes, like, my Eminem and Dr. Dre one, I... I liked it a lot and then I splattered it and I liked it a lot less, but then I asked the opinions of other people and they liked it. So I left it and I released it, but I think I'll repaint it without the splatter. Sometimes I'm just, I don't want the splatter, but I can see why you would think, I think in a sense, why you would want it. Meadows have Indian paintbrush flowers. They look pretty cool. Plus they're red, red slash orange, Indian paintbrush flowers. I don't even know what the heck that is. Indian paintbrush flowers. Oops, I spelled that wrong. The arm tells the story, right? Yeah, without it, because like that scene exists, but not how you see it there. Like if you were to watch that episode, uh, which I think is episode two can't remember she is in the bathtub she's washing the joke is like hey you don't have to do here in beverly hills but they don't understand like what yeah of course you do but they're like no you have a bathtub upstairs i just think that scene is hilarious um and i remember it from when i was a kid probably for different reasons not the hilarity <laughs> anyway so how i have it i changed her face i changed the position of her hands and stuff and uh, basically the rest is, is the same. Like it's, the view is there. Oh, you're talking about these? Okay, where are they native to? No pun intended with the Indian. Indian native. Do they grow where bears are? Uh. Uh, Henry Harris, okay. Ellie Mae loved her critters. Oh, that's right. If I remember the alpine meadow flower I saw, grizzly bear country, there were white, yellow, and dark blue flowers, I believe. Okay.
Maybe fat in the middle here, this one. You should give one of the bears the same hat he's wearing. Yeah. I saw opportunity to use that voice from the start for April Fools. <laughs> I see, that's funny. How cute would it be if you could see the little bear paw of the cub with its leg dangling down? You can see it. It's right behind this grass. I mean, it was showing before, but the idea is to cover up a lot of the sands with the grass, right? Uh, that would have been funny, Renee. He probably would have annoyed himself with the voice. Okay, I got to fatten it a little bit, you think? I don't think so. But, hold on, okay, hold on. Indian paintbrush or prairie fire is a genus of about 200 species of annual and perennial herbaceous plants native to the west of the Americas from Alaska south to the Andes. Okay, so bear country. Northern Asia as well. And also in Russia. Okay, so definitely bear country. Okay, let me show you my main reference. I showed this yesterday. I have them in a slightly different position. Unfortunately, I can't focus on both at the same time. This one is way fatter than this one. But maybe it's just the position of the arms. I don't know. I don't know. If I go, if I, if I type in bear cub just bear cub. I'm just going to type in bear cub. And hopefully I can find one. Or actually I'm going to go grizzly bear cub actually. Grizzly bear cub. Whoops, I typed in grizzly. Grizzly bear cub. The internet might not be working again. Of course. Hmm. This might not work. Does one need a hot dog? Your main reference looked like it just got out of water. Yeah, I think it did actually. Oh, so you think his he should be a little more puffy? Like he should be like his hair should be like, whew. and that would give him some of his bulk. You think is that what you're saying? Because I could agree with that. Okay, so let me look at some that are about the same age. Okay, so this one here, come on, click, click. Ah, for some reason I can't click on it, but that one there, if I use that as my reference, right? I think it looks about the same. However, I could make his back leg maybe a little fatter. Maybe we'll try that. Maybe we'll try some back leg fatness. So if I add another, this is about a half inch or so from what I had before. Let me know what you think of this. Actually, I already like that a little better myself. And then I'm going to take a little bit more, or not take, but put add a little bit more to this leg as well. Ah, 
how obvious is that to you guys? Does that look good? Or does that look like something? I didn't realize how like bendy like their back is here. Because even looking at this, it's just like... Okay, let me look at some more. Some more cubs. So then it depends on the age too, right? So these guys look, they're standing, so it's hard to see. These guys look quite, well, this one looks bigger than this one. Whoops. So he looks quite skinny, especially in that area. However, I guess if he's hunched over, his belly would get a little more bulgy, if you will. Okay, and then I can see this one. I'd say this is about the age that they are. Yeah, it's hard, hard to see. I think he just needs a bigger bottom, rounder and higher. He's very cute. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. He still has anatomy, right? His leg is up, so he's gonna have like I don't know. I'm trying to make it look like, like that other picture where he's like balancing on there. So maybe it's the awkward position that doesn't allow for what I was hoping for. We'll get there though. There, if I make that arm a little bit bigger, like that, or longer, I don't know if that gives the right impression or not, but if I could look at more bears from that position, it would be a lot better. Get out of the way so you can see it while I'm looking here. I actually like it a lot more like that. Just just that little bit. Myself anyway. I need to find Most of these pictures are of them playing. 
which is like playing with each other, which is hindering what I'm looking for. I wonder if it'd be better if I made them lighter colored too. I typed in grizzly bear cub walking. This one's wet, but you can kind of get the idea. They're not that fat. Here's one that's dry. It's in the snow, so I wonder if it'd be older or if it just they came out of the den early. Which is possible. Still not that fat. I might have made his paw actually just a little bit too long here. That's okay. We can fix that. Oh, this is what you're thinking for fatness. This is what you're thinking for fatness. That guy is very bushy. That's what I think you're thinking of. I think that's a little older. No, I'm younger than that still. They just woke up and haven't found out yet. Just wait till September. <laughs> Dude, imagine I could paint it so that they get big. Like they get like uh, bushier as time goes on somehow. Dude, that would be awesome, actually. The cup picks looked like karate bears, and the second looked like they were a high five. Yeah, they did, right? My point of view is a bit, is a bit of the front leg missing. It ends too soon to the body, is so to say. All right, so adding that, I think, fix that or no? Sorry, I didn't see your comment earlier. Maybe some sh uh, shadow on the branch will bring out the four paws. 3D. Yeah, I actually should put some shadowing in there, shouldn't I? Uh, I had a big grizzly in my yard last September. When I went to look at his tracks, the tracks for his back foot were 12 inches long. Dang, that's a big bear. Need light or dark fur to define the areas around the tail. You cannot see the tails at all. Do they always have that rough? Hmm. What about the purple fireweed? Short number two's torso. Which one's number two? You're talking about this. Shorten his torso? Like make him here? Make him this big? You know what I could do? I could measure this head compared to his body, and this is a fat one. I need, I need, like two and a quarter heads is a, is a bear's body. Let me grab a, here we go, tape measure. Okay, we're at about six and a half inches, so that'll be 13 inches, plus that little bit. You can't really see, but 13 inches from here to here, and then a little bit. I think we're good with the length, but
I don't know if that highlight separated it nicely or if it made it look weird. So I definitely like the longer paw, especially when I look at this picture here. Nice big long, like floppy sloppy paw. He's looking skinny. I wonder if I should do something with the ear. I tried to make it look like the, cause he's like nervous up there. So he like pinned his ears a bit, but maybe I don't need to do that. I don't know. A lot of cubs have a light color collar. Collar, like fur around the neck, would you say? Let me have a look at that. Okay, I see it there. See it there? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I see it as well. Yes, and the shoulder on the back is larger also. Like here, I should what? Make a hump, you mean? Or what do you mean? Sorry, I should read these comments sooner. Furry muscle. Don't forget the Alberta Rose. The Alberta Rose, right. Give mama her laser eyes back and have baby Yoda playing with the cubs. The light is from the upper left side, the upper left side, right? So both cubs and mama bear should have a kind of shadow on the right. I don't know where the light is coming from, honestly. I feel like they're in a they're in an area where there's lots of shadow. I don't know. Probably I should I should think of that myself as well because uh, maybe it would pull everything together. Because my reference photos, everything is coming from everything is different, right? No, babies have larger butts so they can climb high. That's the reason. I'm not sure exactly what you're saying. His butt should be bigger than it is, even though all my reference shows that it's about right. Like, what do you mean? They have bigger butts so they can climb high. Even grizzly bears? I mean, grizzlies, of course, they do climb, but they're not known for climbing. It's just like, what is what is a large butt? Is that a large butt or is that smaller than what I have? This is the hard part, you know? Knowing what is good reference. Having a lot of suggestions is nice, including yours, which I don't agree with. Not that I don't agree with that they have it to climb high. I just don't, I think his butt is huge already. I don't know. But it makes me, oh, my internet's done. Doesn't work again. <laughs> How annoying. How annoying, right? Show us your cub close up. I don't know if that'll make a difference, but let's do it. Whoops, sorry, you guys are tangled. Tangled, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's do it so it punches into the whole painting more or less okay the one you just showed showed the tail very well yeah in a different position though that's the thing i'm trying to go for the same position you're talking about this one right here yeah it shows the tail very well but every like that one doesn't look at that one that one's nuts eh the picture taken at like at the perfect time it looks like they're conjoined twins that one doesn't that one doesn't. That one doesn't. That one does. That one doesn't. Well, that one's kind of the wrong angle. This one does. Yeah. 
Anyway. I feel like maybe I should make... I wanted his face to be, like, straight on, but maybe I should make it at an angle. Hmm. Define his tail area a bit. Like, again, when I show you my reference, there's absolutely no tail in there. But I don't have the face in the same position. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe he looks awkward. Right? I could turn his head to be closer to this. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. Let's give it a shot. What's up? Okay. And like it'll be like way too hot in there. Yeah. It's hot in there right now. Yeah. Um. So should I just put it back in that? Because that's new plastic, right? Mm. The top garbage. The top is garbage. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the sides are sticky. You'll feel it. Okay. You when you when it rips off, you'll feel it. Should I put it back in the same cubby? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. That's all. What happened to Chris? I'm in a tornado watch now. Oh, crazy. Huh. Well, hopefully you're fine. I agree with the Cubs head. Turn the head. Okay. Maybe have him chasing a bug. His bare butt is more facing us in your painting. Really? That's how you see it? I see it as it's more facing away. Huh. Did you guys ever see that video of that girl swinging? She's on a swing. And it's like, is she facing towards us or away? And for a long time, I could only see her like facing away as she was swinging. But then I turned my phone upside down and watched it that way. Then I could see it coming towards. And then I could finally train my eye to see her coming towards because in real life she actually is coming towards us but it looks a lot like she's facing away but some people see it one way or the other maybe that's the same with this not the same uh, not as fascinating as a phenomenon but yeah i think the cub looks good well thank you but if if a lot of people think it doesn't then then i can't i can't leave it because people are going to be like uh what and that, that's the beauty about having people watch. Like, and that's the beauty about having Ashley. Like, I tell her, like, I don't want her to spare my feelings. I might disagree with you or her or anyone about whether something is finished or whatever. Because I might like the painting. But, however, if I'm painting a something and it doesn't look like a something or a someone, then it's not done. And if enough people are saying, hey, this doesn't look right just yet... Then it ain't done. Then it ain't done. Which is totally fine. I put his head a lot higher in here than I did in here. So what I'm going to do is cut off his head a little bit. Let's do... I even make it look more blurry in the background if I do this. Okay, I gotta get rid of this eye. Let me get some. Let me do some, I've got brown, I've got white. And I still got to do that collar that someone was talking about. I didn't see it in this reference photo, and this one is obviously just his butt, so I can't, I can't see it. Or wait, were you saying this one is facing toward? Hold on, I don't know. 
I gotta do that collar bit as well, which is in here somewhere. We'll see. The thing that's a bummer about using this reference photo, although people could have seen it before, is like when people look up bear cubs, they'll see this reference photo and be like, oh, he copied that, which is fine. But usually I try to make my reference, like make it up in my mind, not in my mind, but by combining several pictures. However, animals are not my strong suit at all. So we'll give it a pass. Hopefully this uh, photographer isn't mad at me. He might be. And if he is, then I'll have to change it. Let's do feature placement is kind of hard sometimes because the eye was up here before. Now it's down here. And the other eye will be here somewhere. Ah, not right. There we go. That's a little better. And then this. Got to move his mouth up a little bit, and then his nose. Got to come up to here like that. So the trick to painting something that looks like something, for me, I mean as best as I can, is just to make the lines look the same. So I'm just referencing a point to another point. This is a very common method. However, when it's big, it's kind of hard to see up close. And so that's why I, I look back quite a bit. Okay. Now let's do a... This kind of looks like a freaking polar bear face. Somehow.
Okay, it's coming into shape a little bit. I'm trying to go for the lighter look because I don't know, I feel like it will just make them pop a little more. Uh, I might just stay here because I'm going to take a break. And I think coming back to it will be a lot better. His ears need to be more prominent, a little larger. Doing a good job of looking better. Uh, yeah, no shit. Um, but <laughs> one, one bit at a time. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is take a break now and then we'll do a uh, session six. And we'll work on it. And who knows? It might change into completely different. Because now that I'm putting a little way more detail into him now, I don't know if it's very obvious. Oh, I like it. Yeah? Yeah. So now I'm putting a little more detail into it. I'm going to put more detail into her. He's probably fine. Because it's just his butt. He's just like flopping over, trying to get over onto the, branch, onto the log. But I think what I'll do... Let me... Uh, let me turn this around so you can see. I'll hold on. Let me. How much battery do I have left here? Oh, I missed a phone call. <laughs> Whoops. Head is much more roundish. You think so? I don't think so. But it. I think it looks. I mean, it looks different than what I wanted it to, but that's okay. The name of the painting: Bear Cub, but. Someone had a good, uh, shoot, someone had a great name, and I can't remember what it was. Um, anyways, shit, now I've lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Uh, I don't know what the heck I was just saying. Oh, yeah, so the detail. So I'm putting in all this extra... Whatever, and I like how this hair is here. I don't know if, how well it translates on camera, but I, I like it a little bit uh, better than what I was doing here. Here, I was just doing like a representation. Like the moose, if I bring you to the moose, hold on, I'm gonna unplug you. We're not gonna die, but we're at 23%. But anyways, so the moose, like that doesn't look real at all, but I think all together, it looks fine. Like I like it. But over here, doing it with the bear, I don't know. It doesn't have the same impact, I don't think. However, if I go and try to do a little more of this work here, which you have to be at a certain distance to really appreciate what it looks like. I guess maybe around here. I may as well do it with her, which I have started doing. And then I kind of muted it a bit because I, I don't know. I just, I wanted it to look... A certain way but now now that i'm doing this i want it to look this certain way you know what i mean does that make sense i don't <laughs> i don't know how to explain it <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but yes his ears of course his ears need to be ears although if i'm looking at my reference photos they're not they're not super prominent either i mean they are you can totally tell that they're there but they're they're just little guys they're not. They're not that big. Now, uh, black bears, cubs, their ears are huge. Um, but anyway, so I think I'm gonna do that. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take up some of this green, and I'm gonna I'm gonna blend it a little more. I think, and then that'll give us a more of a blurry effect in the background rather than doing this, which is what I was initially going for. Um. And I, that's just going to take too long. We've already been here for like four hours almost. So let's, uh, let's, uh, oops, almost tripped. Let's leave it at this, I think. Uh, he needs to be chasing a bug or something like a bee. Nah, I don't know. Maybe, I guess. I don't know. Not really. Just joined in today and the textures are coming in great. Looking awesome. Thank you, Digital Craze. I might put in some bugs, but I don't think I'm going to make them chasing it. Like, I might put in a couple bees or something. They're just going to be little dots, I think. I'm not going to... Well, I don't know. Like, if I take some yellow and dip it in the black... I have to go get some paint. And, like, let's say I put it...
I need a little more black. I don't have any black left, so I got to really scrape it. Okay, and then I need a tiny bit of white. That's too much. There, there's a B. You can't even tell that it's a B, but there's a B. <laughs> it's not the wrong weather, just the wrong cloth. It's a rainy and windy here in my area, but there isn't such thing as bad weather. Oh, there definitely is. <laughs> uh, the head is looking way more dimensional, says Donnie. Yeah, more dimensional. I wanted it to be more like he was looking straight ahead, but it's okay that he's not. It kind of looked, he kind of looked a little unfinished thinking back to it. So I like it now. I don't know. Drizzly bear in the rain, right? Bluebird. That was you who said that? Drizzly bears. And then there was another one where it was uh, Grin, and, Grin and Barrett as well. Looks good with some tiny things that you have to get real close to see. I guess. I don't know. Is Dollarama paint good? I only like yellow, this green, and this green. I love this color, and I love yellow sucks. So, like, this color or brand of yellow, trash. That's the same brand. Uh, golden. I've used, um, I, where's the other one? Hold on, let me. So this brand, oh, nope. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This brand sucks for yellow. Oh, this brand right here. Hold on, that might be the same thing. Well, anyway, the yellows are trash. So I will use them, experiment with them, just like with anything, and uh, struggle with them. However, the dollar store yellow, I've explained this in my, uh, in my series of painting the moose. Um, the opaqueness of the dollar store yellow is insane. I can't believe it. So... I don't know. I just like to like, and also I use all different brands of spray paint and everything. And I'm just like, I just find what I think looks good. Works good. Splatters good. Runs good. Smooths out good. Textures good. All these different things. Where were those? Oh, you can just put them right here. Are they Phillies? Or they're these. Oh, they don't have wa washers? Okay, I have a bin for those. Yeah, he's in there. Those actually might be his. So that's that's Ava bashing you guys around. Um yeah. I don't know. As long as it as long as it works for you, I think it's I think it's fine. Uh, to use whatever paint you like. I mean, some people don't like to use a certain brand because they have like some sort of brand loyalty. As long as the quality doesn't degrade, I have some. That's how I started painting: going to the dollar store, getting some cheap canvas, cheap paint, and I still have those paintings, and they're still just as good as they were from 12 years ago. And so I'm not going to stop using them. I mean, I stopped using most of the colors, but I'm not going to stop using those colors because I like those ones. The green one, I don't actually use that often, but I do like it. I do like what we always call the dollar green. Me and my friend, uh, day one. We always refer to this teal color as dollar green. Which is, I have this. Hold on a second. So this is...
And of course I can get different different colors and mix and whatever. So this is the dollar store and this is uh, golden. This just looks way better. I don't like to mix paint if I don't have to. Like I don't mind mixing paint to mix them to get a color that doesn't exist or I don't have on hand. If I can just open a tube, yeah. I've had this for months and I barely used any of it. But yeah, I don't know. This is fine, but this is better. And I'm sure there is a golden that's closer to that dollar green too. I don't know though. I looked for it. I looked for it. I don't know. Someone asked earlier, was that Martha? What's my favorite brand to use? And I don't have a favorite brand. I don't, I don't care at all. Like I care so little about the brands that I will use the dollar store stuff. And then this stuff, like this is from Michaels. This is shit white. Don't like it. Golden has the best white. And uh, so I can use a 40, like eight $40 tubes to make a, uh, uh, a white painting of mine or an x-ray painting. Or I can use one of those, which is like 15 bucks, and it's the same thing. As long as it holds up is, is my main thing. Is that the one on Ellie Mae? The what? What are you asking? You need to make a painting with that name, Dollar Green. Oh, this here? This is, this is, uh... I actually don't remember what I used here. It looks more like the Dollar Green. But I can't remember exactly. I can't remember. Actually, it looks like I used both. Because right here, it's a different color. And here is a different color. I probably used both, but here in the water, I probably used dollar green, I think. Uh, I love the mama's nose. Yeah, the nose is okay. I think, yeah, I think we're going to spend a lot more time on these bears. So probably tomorrow. But in the meantime, my brother's having his show today. Dollar Grandma has silver. Yeah, I don't like the silver. Uh, I never have liked it, even when I used to do it. However, I had this idea of doing these gold paintings. They have a really good gold. In my opinion, it's really good. I was going to do ones where it's negative space painting. It's kind of like stencil style. And then have all of the... Instead of doing it like white or black or whatever, just do it all in gold. I did a Johnny Cash like that, but unfortunately, because I screwed up, I never released that painting. It looked cool until I effed it up, and then I was like, ah, okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, no, I didn't say Grizzly Bear. Someone else came up with that good one. Glenn, I think. Oh, that was Glenn, wasn't it? So totally different close-up. Your close-up is, is different. Uh, with the x-ray paintings, you should use glow-in-the-dark paint. I don't want them to look... I don't want them to be, like, these gimmicky paintings. I don't want them to be, like... What's the word? I, won't, I don't want them to be... There's a certain quality to paintings that you get at where there's, you know, an unlimited amount huge run of paintings and they often have like this weird gimmick to them and I don't like that and maybe maybe they would be fine I don't know there's like some people do great glow-in-the-dark or like uh black light paintings there's this girl who you guys might like Charlotte let's see if my internet works at the moment Charlotte I can't remember what her freaking Instagram is Charlotte something Charlotte Boyrell is her name, but I don't think that's her. I think I shouted her out before. Ah, Luna Charlotte Art. This is a little I got paint all over the screen, so I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. But let me pull up. It's 
So she's shining the black light on there so you can see these. Please go check out her Instagram, Luna Charlotte Art. She's a fantastic artist. I met her, I had never met her in real life, but she started painting at the same time I did. And she has just fantastic pieces. They're like kind of psychedelic. Yeah, they're way easier to see. Just look for yourself. It's kind of hard to show like this. They're awesome. We were going to do a collab at one point. I had this idea of having like this book, like this wizard, like opening this book and having like this face and then like all these things like coming out of the book. But then we never did it. And she, like her style lends way more to that than, than my own. She has this one really cool piece where she framed it with garbage she found on the beach. Well, let's see if I can find it here. It's so cool. Where is it? Okay, you'll have to scroll yourself, I think, because I will probably take me a while to find it. But it's it's a great piece. I really liked it. I want I really wanted to buy it, but I just I can't afford to buy art. I'm an artist. <laughs> I should be uh Oh, here we go. So she's on a beach full of garbage, as you can see. And then the frame has a whole bunch of beach garbage on it. And then the painting, obviously, is a sentiment to pollution in the ocean. Okay. When you are done, can you give me a hint? Yeah. Like there's a crab in the water bottle. There she is painting it. Anyway, that... For some reason, I never liked that, but here we go. I like it now. Um, anyways, uh, oh yeah, Renee, yeah. Dakota show is at 7. You should check it out, which is going to be when? It's three, four hours, so yeah. A friend of mine did that gold paint pouring over hardened glue, and it's fabulous. Oh, I don't even know if I know what that is. You're going for art, not decor. Ah, that's a perfect way. That is a perfect way to say it, Jim. Charlotte's website. I don't know what her website is, but her Instagram is Luna Charlotte Art. Luna Charlotte Art. L U N A C H A R L O T T E A R T. Luna Charlotte Art. A thing of hints of glow in the dark, clear top coat to add to the x-ray paintings and slight areas. You know what actually would be cool? Is you know the the ghost that goes around the bones in an x-ray? If I did that in glow in the dark paint, then I would do it, because that would be sweet. I'll look into it. Uh yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Maybe tomorrow. I have things to do tomorrow, so maybe not, but we'll see. I do want to finish this before my art show, because I want it to be available at the art show. It's coming along, so we'll see. Um, yeah, all right. Check in uh, maybe tomorrow. But in the meantime, go check out my brother's channel. He's going to be going live. And uh, if you like this boringness, you might like that. Uh, anyways, okay, good night. Why do I always say good night? It's not night. It's daytime. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna take a break and then I'm gonna work on that sculpture that I showed you earlier. Alright, have a good, uh, have a good whatever you're doing. Whatever time it is. Okay?